spins a web any size. Can't you see? Just like flies, look out. Here comes the Spider-Man. Is he strong? Listen, bud. He's got radioactive blood. Can he swing from a thread? Take a look overhead. Hey there, there goes the Spider-Man. In the chill of night, at the scene of a crime, like a streak of light, he arrives just in time. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Welcome, fame, he's ignored. Action is his reward to him. Life is a great big bang up. Wherever there's a hang up, you'll find a Spider-Man. Hello and welcome to another edition of the Comic Book Blog. I'm your host, Jim Houston. Today, it's a Spider-Man blog. I have very exciting news. I now have Spider-Man 1 to 100 graded in the CGC cases. I would say at least 80% have the Spider-Man over New York City label. One thing that happens as you upgrade is you might not be able to get that label. So this was my original comic, graded 6.5, of Spider-Man number 57 featuring Kazar. And at the last uh, collector's comic sale, I just picked up this 8.5 graded copy. I kind of like 8.5 grades for Spider-Man. I don't know why. I just seem to be getting them. But of course, you don't get the label. <sighs> The Trials and Tribulations of Upgrading. Here's the two copies of Spider-Man 57 versus Kazar. This is my slab with the Spider-Man over New York City label. It's graded 6.5. It's much sharper looking than the 8.5. Because the 8.5 is an old slab. And I'm going to check. If the 8.5 doesn't give me that many more registry points, I might just keep the 6.5 because it's got the Spider-Man over New York City label and just sell the 8.5. Here's the back covers. Of course, there's a sticker on the one on the right from Collectors Comics duplicating what uh, Heritage and Comic Link and Metropolis does. This is the original copy from my collection. This morning, on a Sunday morning, I got the balance of my Spider-Man comics back from grading. The box is a little dented. Hopefully the slabs are okay. I uh, was supposed to get this on a Monday morning delivery and it came Sunday. Pretty happy, so I'm doing the blog today. These comics that are in this box were the last ones from my original collection that I needed to have cleaned and pressed. Keyhole Comics did the cleaning and pressing because they're local. Not mad at Phil from Phantom Restoration. It just takes me a long time to get there and back to his facility. So, we'll take a look at these books. Not only did I get the balance of the 1 to 100 graded, I got a couple of key books graded that I just wanted to have in the collection. Um, so, let's see if we could take these out in order. Here's a Doc Ock cover. This is Spider-Man number 55, graded 5.5. So, you know, it's off white to white pages. And it had some like red drawing on his eyes, glasses. But that's what we have right now for that book. So the reason these weren't done a while ago is I needed to get books cleaned and pressed. And what I'm doing is I'm trading graded comics that are my doubles for pressing services. So it's not costing me any extra money, but I'm not getting the grading fees 
for the double back because I'm doing an even exchange. Graded books for clean and press. This is graded 6.0 and it's got off-white to white pages. Another Doc Ock cover. It looks pretty nice. Here's two Doc Ock covers that just came back from CGC. You can see why I waited a long time to send this one in. It only graded 5.5. There's some red pen and Doc Ock's eyeglasses there. And here's a 6.0. I think this is a double. I might have another copy of this. 89, another Doc Ock issue. Here's the back covers of the two Doc Ock issues. I'm going to replace this one. It's only 5.5, which is the sweet spot for me. But if I can, I might replace this. Here's 89. I'm pretty sure I have a double of this one. This is 6.0. The cover on the right pops way more than the one on the left. Both submitted at the same day. Spider-Man 82. This is a nice grade. Featuring Electro. Spider-Man 82 off-white to white pages. Graded 8.0. It's a nice book. Here we have Spider-Man 91. Hey, it's got the 8.5 grade that I like, even though it has off-white to white pages. 91. Here's two of the higher graded books I got back this time. Below 100. This is 82 versus Electro. Eight point zero. Here's a nice eight point five. I like the cover. Ninety one. Both these back covers pop. When I say pop, I mean the white is really white. When the grading says off white to white, they're referring to the pages inside the comic, which you can't see anymore. So you have to trust their grading. Sometimes you could see the pages like right there if they stick out from the corner of the book. Uh, here we have Spider-Man 93. This is graded 7.5 off white to white pages. And it features the Prowler. And this is the last comic I needed to get graded for my Spider-Man 1 to 100. This is 6.0 off white to white pages. By the time you, uh, if you were paying for the clean and press, it's $15. The grading's $35. The, the uh, express fee is $15. So you're looking at just to break even, you'd have to sell a comic like this for uh, $65 and then plus your shipping. And depending if it's on eBay, you have to sell it for even more because of all the fees they take. But this has the uh, No Comics Code Authority. <clears throat> I have 96, 97, and 98. I'll probably try to sell as a set. 
of the, uh, of the uh, drug issues that Stan Lee insisted on doing, and he didn't care about the comics code. So these are the last two books I needed to have Spider-Man, 1 to 100 graded. This is 93, graded 7.5. versus the Prowler. And this is the drug issue I was talking about in 98 with the Green Goblin. Nice copy. Only graded 6.0 though. Here's the back covers. This is Hot Wheels. Ninety-three and ninety-eight. One of the drug issues without the Comics Code Authority. Seal of approval. Now I decided to get a couple of other key issues graded that I already had. <clears throat> this is Spider-Man 121. It's graded 6.5. <clears throat> it's pretty nice. Someone close is about to die. Turning point. It's a key issue. This one here. That looks better in the slab. This I was very reluctant. Spider-Man 122 came back 6.0. It has a subs subscription crease down the middle, which we couldn't get out even though we pressed it like three times. I'll definitely upgrade this issue, even though it's not considered as key an issue anymore because, of course, Green Goblin dies in this issue. But then, of course, he comes back. So I don't know if it loses its value. Plus, older collectors like myself, you know, we were very upset when Gwen died. So this is the death of Gwen Stacy and Green Goblin issues. I was reluctant to send these in because I didn't think they would grade this high. Here's 122, 6.0, graded higher than I thought. You might be able to see right there by the Green Goblin, by the pumpkin in his hand and his knee. There's a crease. I think it's a subscription crease. We tried to get that out. Pressed it like three times. Grade's much higher than I thought it would be. Here's the back covers. Back cover's bright. And this makes you wonder if that's a subscription crease because you don't see it in the back. I mean, the cover just got bent when it was put away. Uh, another book I got graded, just for the heck of it. I believe this is the second appearance of The Punisher, 135, graded 8.0 with white pages. Just keep that with my uh, Spider-Man 1 to 100 collection. So that's pretty cool. 8.0, white pages, second appearance of The Punisher. And the last book in here, I'm happy with this. This one I just got graded because everyone else has them graded. 194. Hey, it's a new stand edition. And it's graded 8.0 at off white to white pages. It's the black cat. Here's two key issues. High grades of 
This is the second appearance of the Punisher. It might be just in the Spider-Man title. White pages, nice cover. The Return of the Punisher. And here's the 8.0, and holy cow, it's a newsstand edition. Introduction of the Black Cat. There's the UPC symbol instead of artwork. And here we go, 135. And 194. So you know what's going to happen. Uh, the doubles will be for sale on eBay or Instagram or Facebook. I want to thank everyone for, you know, buying books from me. My CGC set of Spider-Man, I think was graded 122. We're on the registry set. We'll see what it is now. Thank you for joining me on another edition of The Comic Book Blog. I'm your host, Jim Houston. See you again soon. Bye. Just like flies, look out, here comes the Spider-Man. Is he strong? Listen, bud. He's got radioactive blood. Can he swing from a thread? Take a look overhead. Hey there, there goes the Spider-Man. In the chill of night, at the scene of a crime, like a streak of light, he arrives just in time. Spider-Man. Spider-Man, friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, welcome fame, he's ignored, action is his reward to him. Life is a great big bang-up, wherever there's a hang-up, you'll find a Spider-Man.